Welcome to Alex Math Channel. If you enjoy the video, make sure to smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, notifications on, comment on the video, and enjoy the video. So today, we're going to be, ta be talking about the Pythagorean Theorem. Now, first question you might have is, what on earth is the Pythagorean Theorem? The Pythagorean Theorem is a rule that says all triangles with right angles must say that like squared plus like squared equals hypotenuse squared. And that will be equal. So leg, so five plus 12, five squared plus 12 squared will equal x squared in the example. So let's solve that. So we'd have, so we'd five, have five squared, squared plus, plus 12 squared equals x squared so and we know the famous equation a squared plus b squared equals c squared that yeah. doesn't mean it's a squared plus b squared equals the speed of light squares no no, no. <laughs> that would be way too fast to run <laughs> so, so what's five squared five squared is 25 what's 12 squared 144 that equals 169 so 169 then we need to take the square root of that x squared so we'll take the square root of both and then that's 13 and that's x really a better way to write it is um x equals 13 but still works okay are there other triangles that could be uh all integer solutions to the sure. a squared plus b squared for equals instance, c squared. For instance, the 6, 8, 10. <laughs> yep. Or, or the 3, 4, 5, which is the most can common Can you show me one. Th this with the... So here's the 3, 4, 5. So this is 3. As you can see, here's the right angle. Um, as usual, the hypotenuse is opposite of the um, right angle. Then 4. These are two, just so you know, and then five. So how many single square magnetiles are in the three by three square? It's nine. How many would be in the four by four square? It's 16. And just to show you that it's equal, okay. I'm going to rearrange these. So, so you see, and then you can compare the five by five. That is really fantastic. So what if instead of three, four, five, we had legs of length six and eight? Um, so if we have legs of length six and eight, I am only going to use just one line, but this will be like, um, remember this is actually squared, so there will be six or eight rows, so 10 rows, I don't think I'm gonna get that done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So try to try to build it with a six eight ten, and okay. see how it works. Okay, it's probably not gonna work well because it's a size may be too big. Okay, okay, make a right angle, and then hopefully this will work. Please work. Okay, work thing. I think the math's going to have it work. It's going to work. It's going to work. Yes. No wait. No wait. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It works, it works. Okay, it works. And there's another right triangle. So what this is basically, is if you cut off half of each, what do you see? Yep, it's the three, four, five. It's basically the three, four, five, except the lengths are double size. So that's three, six, eight, ten. So yeah. Let's wrap it up.